So guys, back to you again. It is a Tuesday, the time we're normally supposed to be having these little talk to talks. And I'm gonna ask a very simple question. Bank holiday loomed around again. We had another weekend where we all went off the rails, whether we deserved it or not. And we're looking into June. So it is now the 4th of June. I was gonna say 3rd, 3rd was a Monday. It's the 4th of June and the solid four weeks left in it. What do you plan to do in this month? Do you plan to lose, say, a kilo? So have you thought about how you're gonna break that down? Have you thought about how you're going to lose a quarter of a kilo this week in order to be on track to lose that kilo this month? Because often it's very easy to say, that idea I have is way off in the sunset, way off in the distance, and I'll, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, the question is, what are you going to do today? We did put up the little video about maybe you had a bad weekend and maybe you can learn from it, and now is a very good time to reflect. If you had a poor weekend, did you plan that? Did you learn from it? Like myself, I took a quite liberal at the weekend, I had a lot of ice cream and I had a lot of chocolate. And I did actually plan that because, because one of our number is away on his honeymoon, it was a bit of a stressful couple of weeks to kind of bring up all the hours and get them done. So i have been working quite a lot, doing a lot of driving in the last two weeks. So I said to myself, this bank holiday weekend, I'm taking it off and I'm taking it to myself. Went for a walk with the dog and the girlfriend yesterday and her daughter as well, which was pretty awesome. Something I genuinely don't do enough. But as I said, I had kind of planned that. I might have just planned it the week before, but it was part of my plan. Going to have the weekend off, going to have some ice cream, going to have some chocolate. And now I'm going to buckle back in for the rest of June. You know, it's only a couple of weeks. Maybe that would be an idea. Maybe you could say to yourself, I'm only going to have bank holiday weekends off because there's only, what, 12 of those in a year? You'd still be getting a good lot of crap into you and you'd still be doing an awful lot of good eating if you did that way. So what I'm gonna to try to do is what I had been doing before, what got me down, because I went from, I can't even remember what my weight was at the start of the year, I did put it on a video, but I'm down under 81 kilos now in the last month, which was the other reason why I said I could have that weekend off. I was like, when I get under 81, I can have a weekend off and I elected to have it on my bank holiday weekend. So I'll probably have my next weekend off when I get under 80. Little steps. So what's your plan? Do you have a goal? Do you have a set idea of when you're going to have your weekend off? Because as I said before, cheat days are fine if they're planned and if they're earned. If you're just having them every week because you feel like it, well, that's just a habit that's probably not doing you any good. You need to think about what are you trying to achieve in the short term and in the long term. So take this week, or rather, no, don't take this week, take today. Take today and think about what are you going to do for June? What do you want to accomplish by the end of June? Not by August and certainly not by summer for the little black dress. Think about what you're going to do in June and see if you can make a step towards that. And maybe it's a little step. If you just clean up your breakfasts, if you said my breakfasts are not good, I can clean them up, that's five meals a week for four weeks. That's 20 meals that you can have sorted for the rest of June just by thinking about your breakfast. Why not? That's only the workday breakfasts. So think about it. Think about what you're gonna do. And don't be afraid to comment down below. People think I'm not watching and not sending them messages, but Alan will tell you when he was eating his Easter egg, I was there and I was asking him about his Easter egg. So don't be afraid. Tell us what you want to accomplish in June and what steps you're going to do. And you know what? If you have an idea of what you want to get, but you don't know how to get there, send us a message, comment on the video, and I will give you some help. And don't be afraid to check our little site there and our messaging to see if you can get yourself a little recipe book. Can always help. Take care, guys.